In this allow, I'm going to show you how to configure a layer 3 switch. Um, this CCNA exam 21301 does have some layer 3 uh, switching and so uh, it's important to know how layer 3 switches work and uh, in this example this is the layer 3 switch it's got two hosts connected and a server so I'm going to enable network connectivity for these two hosts to these two servers and uh, what layer th 3 switches do is they get rid of inter VLAN routing uh, with the old sub interfaces on the router so I'm going to set up SVIs on here is default gateways for the, for the host and even the server and um, the routing is done it'll be used uh, default routing on here instead of OSPF for this lab so it's basically uh, setting up uh, SVIs and uh, verifying connectivity so these are the six steps so I need to configure VLANs for step one so I'm going to enable these uh, this is VLAN 10, VLAN, VLAN 11 and VLAN 12 and I'm going to set up uh, VLANs my first step. So I'm going to go to enable and configure T. So first thing I'm going to do is interface FA01. That's the uh, host one uh, access port. So that uh, configures for an access port. And I'm just using the up arrow because it's a little easier in typing. Switch port access, VLAN 10. So I just created VLAN 10 as well. Now I'm going to do 02, that's host 2. And this time I'm going to use, assign that to VLAN 11. This is all in a layer 3 switch. And now for the server, server 1, I'm going to go through and Sign to VLAN 12. Same three commands for each. So that configures the VLANs there. So the acts the VLANs, the uh, the uh, these hosts are assigned to the correct uh, VLAN. So the next step is to enable IP routing. Let's go back here and just type IP routing because I'm just using uh, default routing here. So IP routing is all you have to do. Now I'm going to configure SVIs for each host of VLAN. So here what I'll do is I've already done the VLANs and you can use this to practice yourself as well. It's pretty straightforward. Configure SVIs per host. So these are going to be, I'm going to set up logical interfaces, VLAN interfaces for each VLAN for the host. It's actually a default gateway. So I've moved the default gateway from a router sub interface to a layer 3 switch. That's essentially what this does. So I'll type uh, interface VLAN 10 for example and then IP address 172.16.10 I'm just going to use the VLAN number for the subnet it has to be in the same subnet as VLAN 10 they all have to be the default gateway has to be in the same subnet as the host and that's 10 I'm just going to assign it 254 as the IP address I'll go to this is just a slash 24 subnet mask and then just do a no shut to make sure it's up then the next one I'll do VLAN 11 these are VLAN interfaces layer 3 VLAN interfaces and I'm going to assign this to 11 so it's in the same VLAN as host 2 and then no shut and then same thing for the server. This is 03 on the layer 3 switch. Oh, this is interface VLAN 12. And put an IP address on it. Make that 12. So it's in the same subnet shut. Okay, so that configures the SVIs. Very important thing to know. And uh, I'm going to exit out of there. Now I'm going to configure the default gateways on the host. So in this case, what I'm going to do is go back here. So the SVIs are configured. Now I'm going to go to the host. I need to set them up for the default gateway to point 
to that IP address to that inter VLAN interface. That's going to be its default gateway now. Dot two five four. So that's the ten. That's host one, the ten VLAN. In host two, then would be eleven, just that same interface I just configured. And then server. I'm going to do one seventy two sixteen. 12.254 so the same subnet so after that then it's just created configure an uplink interface to router one so I need this is, has to be changed to a routed interface from access mode because this is going to be a this is a layer 3 interface here so what I'm going to do go back here and I'm going to configure interface FA04 and I'm going to do no switch port because I want to change that tell it I want this to be a layer, th layer 3 routed interface and not an access port mode access mode so now it's a layer 3 interface so you have to do that on layer 3 switches and I'm going to sign 1.1 because the other side the router 1 is 1.2 has to be in the same subnet because it's a direct link so that's uh, 1.1, correct. Do a no shut. And that's what I've done here. The default gateway. So there it is there. That's basically what I've done there. And now I'm just going to configure a default route to, to router 1 and using its interface. So that command's easy enough. Just going to go here. I'm going to exit back to global mode. Go IP route. 172.16. Uh, oh, no, this is a default route. So that's a default route. Send everything to 172.16.1.2. And what 1.2 is that 2.0 interface? So send everything right to there and let the router one worry concern concern themselves with routing. So there's that. And that's pretty much all there is to that. So I'm back up to there and just verify that's all this. Now I just need to verify the lab. So what I'm going to do is just copy run to start. That updates the startup configuration. And done. So that's easy enough to do. So I'm going to go back to host one. I'm going to make sure this works now. So I'm going to host one desktop and I'm going to send pings. First ping I'm going to send is to start with the send it something to server 12. So I'm going to send a ping from host one to server one. Make sure that works. And there it is. See I'm getting replies. So that works okay. Now I'm going to try 3.1. So this sends a ping from host 1 right across this WAN over to server 2. This could be at a data center for example. So I got one reply. Usually you have to do this twice because there's routing convergence and updating ARP tables. So I'm going to run it again. This time see I'm getting all replies. So it's just a matter of network convergence. So host 1 is okay. Now I'm going to try host 2, same thing. Okay, ping 172.16.12.1. And there it is. The YARP table has been updated so it happens faster, more consistently now with host 2, now that I've already sent pings to it. ARP tables, important to know how ARP works. And there it is. So that works to the server 2 as well. So I've tested the ping to, for each host to both servers and they work fine. So layer 3 is switching is working. It's uh, routing between these uh, these different between host and server 1 and also sending packets up to router 1 so they can be sent over to server 2. So that's how layer 3 switching work. It's some basic concepts there and uh, you can practice yourself with the uh, with the lab that's available.